Hi, I'm John with Redenzo. And I'm Mindy. And it's been a bit since we've seen you. That's for sure. Over a year or so since we've last made videos. So we're uh, getting all the dust off the camera equipment and we are here to talk about some cool and exciting things. We hope first off that you and your family and friends are doing well. Um, it's been a, a challenging year, I think, for a lot of us on a lot of levels. So we're excited to be back in action. We've been working on a lot of stuff this last year, a lot. It's and an understatement. It is an understatement. Um, but we wanted to kind of loop you guys in on what we've been uh, doing. We're on the brink of uh, announcing a new product that is not a radar detector. So um, people think of us just as a radar detector company. And we kind of wanted to bring you into the loop on what we've been uh, working on. So I know that we said that we're not going to give updates on Thea until it's, it's ready to launch. But we're going to break that rule here um, because, as Mindy said, we think that there would be a lot of confusion if people saw us announcing a new a new product that is not Thea, especially once they understood the technology inside of it and how it related to Thea. So we are going to break our rule, and Just we're going to give we're going to give one Thea update, um, but then we're not going to talk about it for a long time. So Thea, first of all, is absolutely still happening. We're not walking away from radar detectors. Alive we're still, and well. We're still committed to the category. Mm -hmm. It's something that gave us our start, and we're not walking away from that. Um, that being said, the next product that we're doing is not a radar detector, um, but it is based on Thea. So for a little bit of context, when we finished the design of Thea, it was right during the middle of the pandemic, and the part shortages were crazy. Lead times were part what? Part shortages, what? Some 75 weeks. <laughs> 90 99 plus on some I parts. think on analog devices stuff, it was up to 90 weeks at some yeah. point. The FPGAs were 52 weeks, but there were, that never changed. It yeah. kept staying at 52 weeks. So long story short, we had this design. We couldn't really mass produce it, but something else happened too, and that was that the, uh, the crazy amount of attention and publicity from the Theo launch, mm -hmm. um, some of those videos actually made their way to some people that were interested in using uh, some of Thea's technology for other applications that were not radar detectors. Now, yeah. we're a small team, so what would happen was we'd have somebody coming to us and saying, I want a Thea, but, but. I want it to be detecting a certain type of a cell phone signal or a certain, a certain, radar, um, a certain radar signal from... Um, uh, maybe a boat or a plane that's not specifically in the automotive radar range. Mm -hmm. And for a company that couldn't make Thea because of part shortages, that would have been really appealing work for us. And the problem was in the beginning, we had to say no to a lot of those customers because um, Thea was built in a way where natively it was, it was a little bit time consuming for us to change just parts of it. It wasn't really it wasn't modular. modular. Yeah. Parts of it were, and we talked about that in the video, but from a bigger standpoint, it wasn't as much of a Lego system as we liked. So we had a hard decision to make. And from our perspective, we were sitting there with a design that we couldn't produce, um, at least not for an unknown period of time. And also the costs, right? Component costs, being honest. If you look at what components were oh, yeah. pre-COVID versus what they it are It would today. have been way more than $1,000 if we had had to actually ship it that way. So we made the difficult decision to as some of you guessed, redesigned Thea from scratch around not just more available components, but more powerful components that were available. Um, and we decided to take our lessons from the first uh, design process of Thea 1 and, and make the whole system more modular, um, smaller, which is something that I know a lot of people have asked for, and just overall, frankly, a better product that is, is more suitable for us to build a business around. Yeah. So as John was saying, we wanted to really build one unified platform that was for radar detectors or any other future products that we built. The idea that we had one platform that we could draw from and not have to redesign that core uh, configuration all from the get-go again. So exactly. It's so much more sustainable as a business, especially in a parts-constrained environment where you just have one module that you pop into the radar detector, you can pop into the other equipment that we're going to announce. or um, even specific customized stuff for customers. And um, the reason that we're actually saying, telling you all this now is because um, when we announce the new product in a couple of weeks, um, as soon as somebody tech savvy, which there's plenty of people out there on RD Form tech savvy, opens it up, you're going to see, um, it's going to be obvious that it's basically a new Thea platform from the FPGA and computer standpoint. Um, I will drop a little, just a little bit of, of information and say that we actually redesigned it around something called the Xilinx Ultrascale platform, which is a whole different level of power and complexity compared to a standard Spartan 7. So 
we're excited about that. The is not going anywhere. Um, you're going to get some more information about the tech changes that we've made as we announce these other products over the next couple of weeks. Um, speaking of those other products. So all the work that we've been doing this last year or two, um, it really it deserved its own uh, branch of the business, to be honest. Um, so while we're not talking about this new product just yet that we're launching, all product moving forward in this category is going to be known as Rodenzo Labs. Um, so yeah. yeah, and I think that really reflects what we're, we're going for. So as Mindy said, over the last year, a lot's changed. We've actually moved. We expanded into a bigger building that has now a whole floor just for engineering. Um, and as we built these new products, as well as started taking on some customer design work, um, applying for various grants with government agencies, and really just focusing on engineering, yeah. um, we felt that that portion of the business needed its own brand. Um, we have a website up now called Redenzo Engineering, but that was focused more around uh, design-specific work. Yeah. Now that we're launching physical products, we thought it was time for a rebrand with Redenzo Labs. So Redenzo Radar is still going to have our radar detectors under it. Redenzo mm -hmm. Labs is going to have all of our other engineering services and uh, other products that we're making for that market underneath it. Yeah. Um, we are going to be launching um, new social media channels for these. Yes. So we're going to go in full transparency. We're going to go quiet on the Thea side of things on the Redenzo radar side for a bit, yep. but we're going to be producing a ton of content on the Redenzo lab side of the business. So while maybe not all of you may be interested, if there are those of you who, who think that kind of technology is cool and love software defined radio, amateur radio, radar, um, check us out. Follow us here at the social links. Um, we're going to have a Discord set up. We're going to be doing uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all the big ones. Yeah. Um, make sure to give us a follow and a subscribe. Um, questions about Thea should stay here. Questions about our engineering equipment will go into Redenzo Labs. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's just a lot to learn. Um, that's been the really cool part about my journey this last couple of years. Um, seeing what the engineers have been up to has just been incredible. So if nothing more, it's just to sponge and learn. Um, I think you guys will definitely get a lot out of it for sure. So. Yeah. Until next time. So yeah, there, there you have it. There's our Thea update. Um, we're still hard at work on it, and we know that you're all going to enjoy it. We've made a lot of changes to it. We're excited for the next couple of years, and thank you for coming along with us on this journey. No, Make sure to, for the patience, too. Yeah, and thanks for the patience. Yeah. We understand that uh, it's, it may have been um, surprising to you that we stopped doing the content, but we got to a point where, from a business case, it just didn't make sense, sense. anymore uh, mm -hmm. for competitive reasons to keep sharing. So that is why we're going to go dark again. But you'll be able to track a lot of our progress following us on the Redenzo Labs as well. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Bye. Take care, everyone.